Hello, everybody. Um, I'm here to do a, uh, another collective reading. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it because I uh, um, just could, right? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, collective reading is for the collective, general, take what resonates. Maybe what doesn't resonate. Um, I just can burn a little bit of sage and um, Holy Spirit, bring us some clarity of what we need to know today. What do we need to know today? What's what's coming in for the collective? What's coming in? What do we need to know today? What do we need to be talking about? I'm just uh, lighting a bit of sage here. Thank you. we need to know today? Spirit, Holy Spirit, oh we've got a king, the Knight of Cups just wanted to flip off and the King of Wands um, at the bottom of the deck. Looks like there might be an offer from the King of Wands. Let's see what we need to know today. Holy Spirit, Any negative energy being projected towards us, can you send it back tenfold, please? I've had a little shield of protection down. Send it back tenfold, please, Holy Spirit. It's funny, I got ants on the table today when, when I went um, for my walk this morning. Oh, we've got a broken heart and a queen of um, pentacles. And anyway, I, I was sitting on this rock and I couldn't get myself comfortable. It was like everything was kind of like irritating me. And but so there was always these ants kept crawling on my foot and then um, and then a bee came and wanted to buzz around my legs and um, you know like it was just like I kept getting irritated. And I've got this ant ant wanting to walk all over my table here. Something is uh, irritating. Uh, King of Swords and the world in reverse. Something not, not over with the King of Swords. Something's not finished yet. There's a burden. I don't know what this might be. What is this burden? Burden. Oh, my goodness, there's a thief. It's like the irritating bugs that keep irritating me. There's a message coming in. Page of Wands. A page. Oh. Possibly this is an possibly this is an immature person that's irritating. Something's come to an end or healing soon. Oh, now I've got an ant crawling up my leg. <laughs> Shit. Something's coming, it's gonna, this irritation's coming to an end. I think this, they've been irritating page, here's another page with an offer. Could be an offer of new love. I'm just focusing on. Um, it's almost like it's like there's little little flowers here on the ground, and it's giving me like you know like in the spring you know when you know 
things are coming to life again. Um, maybe this is new love, a new offer, a new, new, something ended and then something new. It's new because it's a page. Remember this is a uh, collective reading and um, take what resonates. If it's not for you, it's not for you. And if it does resonate, then it does. Queen of Swords in reverse. A star. A Knight of Wands in reverse. And the Sun. Leo. A long set of cards here. Maybe this is a long story. A long story for some reason. The long stretch of cards here is significant. A long story. There's a long story. Queen of Swords in reverse. It's disin like not genuine love. Queen of Swords in reverse is a notorious person that just is out for himself, pretty much. Somebody who's out for themselves. Queen of Swords, liar, You're willing to lie for whatever it is. Manipulative. Yeah, manipulative and you know like will do anything to get their own way. But then we've got like the star, which is also like an Aquarius, could be an Aquarius, either one of those. Could be because maybe this person's healing. Star. But then we've got the knight in reverse who's um With the sun, it could be Leo, a Leo, an Aquarius, an Aquarius, an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini, and a. It's an irritation here because this is ant again, right? It just wants to get on me. What are you doing here? Come on, come on. Some, that's significant. So now there's another end. Significant. And when it's, it's another one on the wall. Surrounded by irritating ants. There's, there's some energies. Irritations. Like they're all coming in on my table for some reason. Yesterday, um, it just reminded me of yesterday. Um, I don't think I did a reading yesterday, did I? But I probably should have. But um, I was on my walk, and on my walk, um, there's like I did this painting on this rock to cover up um, of a rabbit, it, and, and I did it to cover up like a just a painting of you know like graffiti of a, a penis. And I cover it up with a rabbit a little ages ago. But, um, and it's on the walk, on my walk. And when I went past there yesterday, somebody had put a dead rabbit there. You know, uh, it's a little bit too coincidental to me. Could be this star. 
peek it. Look at the face. Coming with a message to lie something to rest. And then I thought perhaps a new offer from a coin of swords in reverse to try and gain balance. And the Knight of Wands in reverse, so the sun. I think I'm going to have to pull some more cards on this. Something to do with work. And look, we have another page. There's three pages. Just like the love in reverse. I'll um, try and clarify these. Yeah, there's something for some reason that That rabbit was significant for sure. It was a little bit of a threat to me. Temperance. The burdens being tempered, so burdens lifting. Come now for a empress. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck, also reverse. And another page of swords. Somebody's watching. There's a thief watching Pentacles. Just pull some more. Withdraw. Those ones. It's a hurricane. It's the authority. an organization or a church holds the keys to enlightenment the cross of Lorraine standing out the cross of Lorraine is standing out a message I'm seeing it as this empress is the Hierophant at the same time, an authority, and also like the temperate, temperate, um, temperance angel, tempering a burden of thieves. An authority on tempering the burden of thieves. thieves to me in the battles but it's in reverse and here it's the four of swords ending or healing perhaps both the 
And this is in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse. The past is being left behind. This is like healing the past. Healing the past burdens and grieves. A message. It's a message to heal the past burdens. And it's coming from the higher up. Page of Pentacles. Burden in reverse. Out in the cold in reverse. There's, a, there's an offer here. To release, uh, you know, like perhaps an offer to come out of the cold. And Queen of Swords in reverse is a victory. A victory over the Queen of Swords and walking away. There's a victory in walking away from something. A victory in walking away from past grievances. Yeah. The Queen of Swords is like a ruthless, um, yeah, like I said before, like a ruthless person that just is manipulative to get what they want. But this is a walking away from that and the past. And the Empress is the authority. The victory is walking away from what had been previously invested in. Which here we've got the High Priestess in reverse and you know like that 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 energy, you know like black magic and shit. And so now we've got the star, so that's possibly that is healing. Yeah, look. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> past conflict, right? Oh, look, and then we've got a partnership to work together. Wow. Look. Working, partnership. And we're saying we're working, working away from these past wounds, this, this battle and past wounds. And um, this is being healed because we've got the star over here. And that's there. And the star here, right? Healing, balance. The new beginning, the full. So the the end of a cycle and the new beginning. So by walking away from past grievances, we will have a new beginning. We we'll walk away from these irritating little <laughs> bugs. Okay, let's um, yeah. So past wounds, you know, the burdening of the past. Letting it go, it's ending. And that was the message that we were getting from the higher authority. The higher authority is telling us to walk away from the past. because there's nothing in it. So I, come, I keep coming back to this 
light. So the night in the upright is like a solid offer, right? It's a solid uh, offer. And um, so in this way, I'm working with these guys here. And it came out with the Seven of Swords and the Empress. So it's like an empty offer. The burden of the empty offer. That, that's an empty offer. It looks like. So, yeah. So the message is to um, end. End that cycle. That cycle's ended. The deception has ended from this Queen of Swords in reverse. Cause that's the manipulator. So by walking away, we have a um, a uh, victory by walking away from that past. Okay. The wounds, the battle wounds, that partnership. Knight of Wands in reverse. Taking a new path. See those, yeah, those two wands, those two wands are behind, and then we're, we're going towards this wand here in the four blades in his hand. The other two are behind him. A new path that's going to take us to sunshine and flowers and happiness. Happiness. So walking away from this night, night. Knight of Wands, just in reverse. Clarify that in a minute. So, yeah, a new investment. A new investment on a new path. It's going to bring happiness. We've still got these little... And I'm seeing this um, Knight of Wands in reverse here as these little ants crawling on my table. Just irritating. It's like the irritating, little irritating thing from the past. Ten of Wands, clarify the Ten of Wands, please. Holy Spirit, clarify the Ten of Wands, the burden, these irritating little ants. <laughs> what is the burden? Yeah, like the past, right? In reverse, so the past in reverse. Temperance. Yeah, it was, um, it was a weak foundation, so that's the four of wands in reverse. Yeah, so it's intemperate, weak, a weak foundation. The seven of swords. So when something's not built on a um, firm foundation, then you might as well forget about it. Because it's not bringing in any stability. This is the King of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, that's the thief. Um, that's come out on the thief. So yeah, there's no abundance there. And that is this Knight of Pentacles here in reverse. There's nothing in it like the empty offer or so to the Empress. It's been, yeah, that's been shown, realized, and in this 
message here to the um, Empress. Uh, it's the Seven of Cups in reverse. So that's exposure. It's exposing to us that this is an empty offer and because it's on a weak foundation. Page of Wands. A new beginning with the Page of Wands has come for um, Ace of Wands. Uh, so that is a new beginning. That is um, a new passionate beginning. And it's coming with this message. High effort. High effort. And to me, the message is um, it's coming. High effort. So the third party. So it's third party in reverse. So whatever this organisation was or group of people. Um, that's done with, that's over. That's over. So that's, yeah, the past, over. This is the Three of Cups. Hang on, there's a new, mm, there's a new offer. Um, and here we are, we have the Page of Pinnacles. So there's a new offer from a new, coming from, uh, this is coming from Spirit. Because I keep seeing that um, the three of cups is there. Coming from an organisation. So there's a new offer. After the finish of that, there's a new offer coming from a. And there's a pen across. I've still got these ants crawling all over my table. Irritating. There's still something irritating here. It's, it's what this is a, in the background. Yeah. Four of Swords. Yeah, that's at the ending. And no love. So no, yeah, so the empty offer again. You know, and that's just the page of cups in reverse. It's the empty offer. It's done with. The empty offer is done with. It's just a little irritation in the background now. <laughs> they want to just come and crawl all over the table and be irritating. Uh, six of cups in reverse. Work. to do with the past work. So the past, okay, so the past work is paying off and it's bringing a new offer. So that little irritation was something that needed to happen to bring in this offer. Page of Pentacles. A manifesting joker. This character here is a um, a um, it's like it's like a man of uh, what do you call it? Alchemist. This is the alchemist. If he's in reverse, he's he's a weirdo like stalker type character, um, disruptive and joker, you know, like the irritation. But this is in the upright. This is the manifestation after the irritation of this. Because this is coming out of the cold too, so we've got the five of pentacles in reverse. Comes with the king of cups. King of cups in the upright. 
So this is, oh, there's an offer coming from a king of cups in the upright. He's a, uh, yes. A genuine, a genuine creator, manifest emotion. So he's also, it's water because, so that's emotional. Swords in reverse. It's a Queen of Cups. So we've got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. The King of Queen of Cups. There's a, a victory here from walking away from Perhaps an attitude. It's like the Queen of Swords here is flipped. You know, like changed up like to a Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Swords in reverse, like, you know, like a ruthless, cold, um, cutthroat sort of individual to a soft emotion, emotional, motherly, caring, it's brought a victory. So that's what's happened to you, like there's, there's a flip up and that's why the star's here as well. So the energy has shifted bring a victory because we've walked away from, yeah, walked away from the Queen of Swords in reverse, which is a, an energy, a, a, an attitude, uh, and flip the script by walking away from that. Okay, so walking away from a negative attitude and taking a more positive light has brought a victory. Six of Wands. Yeah, because look, we've got now, um, the five of wands in reverse so the five of wands is you know conflict and argument and um you know hostility uh, so that's flipped over that's in reverse so uh we have a victory because of that because we've walked away from that conflicting you know walked away from the conflict basically And let go. Uh, yeah, let go and let go, right? That's the third party here is the higher authority. And that's why we have the, the empress along with the, imp uh, the, the, the higher authority. Because that's like letting go of the conflict and let, letting go and let God uh, take the reins. And then we have a victory because this is the walking away from the coin of swords in reverse. Which is bringing in this manifesting King of Cups. With an offering. A, an offering of create, uh, you know, like to create a new, a new beginning, which we have here with the, um, the world and the fool here, the star. We're flipping the script. Yeah, and then we've got the King of Swords in the upright. King of um, Swords in the upright is, you know, like this is honesty and integrity, um, you know, like um, authority, uh, you know, um, could be a, um, an Aquarius here, or a Gemini or a Libra in the star energy of this new beginning. So I'm seeing that, yeah, as the, um, the honest, integrity, um, official um, attitude. It's attitude. It's, it's the moving into this new energy and this new beginning with this new authoritative, honest, uh, authoritative attitude 
Why have we got the Knight of Wands here in, in, in reverse? Why is he here? All right, and then we've got a we've got a Knight of Swords in reverse. and a knight of swords in reverse. It's like... The knights are both in reverse. So the knights are like the first out on the field, right? In the battle. They're in the reverse, so they're not moving. But yeah, so that's like leaving. That's what we're. So that. That's like what we move out with onto the battlefield. Oh, they are the knights. The leaders of the rest of the army. Of the pages. It's like we don't need them, like, that, like because here we've got the um, three of wands and it's like they're behind him and I'm seeing those two wands behind this three of wands as being this knight of swords and knight of wands in reverse, leaving, I feel like that that's like going alone without the knights we don't need the knights to bring in the sunshine the sun nine of cups in reverse wish fulfillment, the overindulgence. Okay, so then uh, I always see the nine of cups in reverse as like overindulgent. And that's come out with the sun, which is Leo, like a Leo, clear Leo, overindulging, very investing. Three of Wands. Five of Swords. Yeah. I think I'm seeing this as like leaving that behind. Because that's the king. These two knights in reverse. So it's like over here we've got the king with on this new beginning. And here we've got these knights in reverse with a five of swords, which is like, um, you know, like bitching, uh, battle, jealousy, um, you know, all that, you know, these nasty, I mean, knights in the upright, uh, um, you know, like their authorities, but these knights in reverse are like fuckwits. I can't do their job, like, <coughs> excuse me, um, because they're all in this, it's like they're, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like the knights being jealous of the king, I mean, how can the knights be jealous of the king, they're meant to be working for the king, that's what, that, that's what this is, but they're fuckwit, they don't know how to be knights, so they they should be just back there, those pages and I think that's what that empty offer is almost like because that's a, a knight of pinnacle over here in reverse as well so all the knights are in reverse and empty offers uh, and um, you know like unstable empty offers burdensome uh, so the king's going on alone here and this manifesting other king the king of cups and this queen of cups has turned this battle upside down 
and got a victory because I've walked away. Yeah, walking away from this battle with the dumb, with the, you know, like, it's like the dysfunctional nights. The over, that are over, like having a, a drunk leaders in your army. You know? So this uh, three of wands is like leaving those drunk knights behind and just taking the one. So it's like the king going alone. The king's going it alone. In this case, I feel is actually the Empress. Uh, seven of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, so this is a three of wands in reverse. So the investment is reversed. The path, it's yeah, so it's the path, it's like the path going, <sighs> reflecting on it. So this, yeah, so the Seven of Pentacles is reflecting on that path of um, working with drunk knights. <laughs> That's fucking funny. But the king is now going alone and becoming the star independently without his knights. He doesn't fucking need them. Trust. So that's trusting his own judgment. Or is actually questioning, you know, like the loyalty and trust. It's more on trust. Who is needing to trust? Yeah, to move to calmer waters. Trust, trust we're moving to calmer waters. Reflecting on, yeah, on that past, yeah, the past burdens. But so by reflecting on the past burdens of what was in the past, with his overindulging nights, we can now trust in the future, having integrity, this King of Swords here, knowledge for the new beginning, to manifest the King of Cups. Interesting. Yeah, moving away, so going to calmer waters, so we've got Reflecting on the um, bad investment. That's the bad investment. And that's what we're reflecting on. And now we trust that we have this knowledge to move away from that. Well, I'm saying move away from that, but now we've got the King of Cups. Uh, it's like moving forward. Um, the King of Cups in reverse is like not. Not moving away from it, but I think it's not moving away from it, but working with it. Trust the path. So we're trust. Trusting the path. Hmm. Moving forward. Got a contract in reverse. What's going on here? Yeah, I think, yeah, like, it's like getting rid of the knights. Uh, you know, like breaking the contract. I might pull some tippers on here. 
Cause, oh, yeah, because we've come out of this Ten of Swords, so it's like pulling the knives out of the back because the, it's like a mutiny we got going on there. Like there was a mutiny happening with our knights. Yeah. Breach of contract, like. No trust. Well, we have trust. Otherwise, it would come out as a thief. The path in the reverse. It's changing the path. Yeah. Moving away from not working, anyway. Let's get some Kipper on here. Trust where... <laughs> it's kind of like... Um, trust where on the, the right path of experience for this um, dysfunctional contract or the one that didn't work out with these drunken nights it was a bad investment because now we can move forward with trust moving because there's the um, six of swords there which is uh, you know going to calmer waters with the knowledge of the mutineers you understand? It's been a long road. But trust, this is um, what, you know, like the journey, he said that we get the fool's journey, right, is over. So it's like that fool's journey is over. To now move ahead in the King of Cups, in the King of Swords, to now manifest on this long road. So we're coming to the end, that, that journey is done. And now we have an ex expectation. Let's have a look to see what this we can expect. What can we expect now, Holy Spirit? Good Lord, good Lord is with us. All right, so this is trusting, and this with the Hierophant over here. Trusting the good Lord is guiding this process. It's like a guided process so trusting the dysfunction and moving with the Holy Spirit for a greater outcome what's the greater outcome here Spirit what are you moving to with the Holy Spirit to a um, a, a new partnership a firm partnership it's in the upright a, a strong partnership because we have this uh, um, alchemist here in the king of cups is an alchem this is the alchemist the king of cups is the alchemist here and we have a strong partnership so we need to, to trust this process with the drunken knights so we had to go through the process of the drunken knights to now receive this gift okay this is cool the gift yeah look short-term illness it's like the short-term illness like um, to then bring this big luck see by trusting uh, the process that the Holy Spirit has had to take us through um, it's brought this new uh, partnership which is big luck but we had to have this short illness so that's how that's coming out and it's been a long road okay but now it's come to fruition in a solid partnership with this big luck show us the big luck spirit Big luck for a main male. We have a main male here. Doesn't necessarily mean to be a male. It can be a female too. It's just uh, you know their energy. But they've still got these fucking drunken knights running all over my desk. That's what I see. That's how I see these ants. <laughs> so my uh, dysfunctional knights. Male. Uh, main male. Main male. What's the main male here? 
And it's almost like these, these ants are really trying to get onto the cards, but they're not. They're sort of like just skirting all around the edges of my cards here. Like they can't come in. I keep on knocking, but I can't come in. I keep on knocking, but I can't come in. This is <laughs> so funny. And it gives the house, like, it's, the ants are still trying to get into my spread here. <laughs> the house, but we have a house. So there's a firm the foundation here. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, so the gift has been a journey um, to high honour. Because we trust it in the Holy Spirit's guidance. And you know, like we're safe because they're keeping us, keeping the dry, drunken nights at bay. Uh, but that was the process that needed to happen. His thoughts. So he, by his thoughts, I'm seeing that his thoughts as the um, the uh, alchemist. So what you um, you know like put out there is what um, manifests. This is, this is the this is the manifester here. So this is what I'm seeing here with the fool. So there had to be a fool. You know, like this creator here, who's this, this is all the same person, the creator had to go on the journey. To go on the journey with the drunken knights to get, so there's the journey to get to the high honor. So it's like earning the stripes. And here we have the male female. So I'm going to leave it there. So I'm going to leave it there with um, the high honour and the journey. Yeah. So um, that's that's your reading. Uh, if you um, you know uh, resonated with that, um, liked it. So like, share, and subscribe if you like my readings. Like, because that helps me to, you know, like come up in the algorithms. If I have more uh, participation on my, and that you know, like if you're just here for entertainment, just to watch, then you know it's good manners to just like it because you, you know, you're being entertained. You know, so it's kind of it's that little bit of equal give and take. So if you could just at least like, um, doesn't cost you anything. Um, so um, I, I think that's pretty cool. That was a pretty cool reading. Um, so I'll see you again next time. Bye.